Welcome back to the channel, everybody. I'm Mark Fisher. I'm Megan Fuller. We are going back to school, Megan. It's the beginning of the year. Okay. And, and we're going to do a little test to start out the semester. What? <laughs> to start out the semester? Yeah, they but, haven't learned anything yet. Oh, these guys know what they're doing. We're going to test you on your bass fishing knowledge. So get a pen if you need one. You should be able to do this just by memory. Keep track of any answers you might get wrong. Hopefully you won't get any wrong. We'll be back right after this to get this fishing IQ test started. Welcome back, guys. So here's how this is going to work. We have 15 questions all related to bass fishing. We are going to read the question. I will read the question. Megan will type it out. You will get multiple choice on all of these questions. And then I will repeat the question. And all you have to do is pick the correct answer. And then we'll give you what the correct answer is. If you got it right, terrific. We'll move on to the next one. If you got it wrong, just keep track of how many you get wrong throughout the throughout the test. And we'll give you your answer score at the end to tell you, hey, if you got two wrong, that means this. If you got five wrong, that means that. If you got a perfect score, woohoo, you got it. <laughs> All right? So let's get started. Okay, but before we start, um, I want to remind everyone to please subscribe to the channel. Um, even if your knowledge isn't so great, subscribing to the channel that could would help. be the reason to subscribe yeah, to the channel we'd the appreciate reason. you subscribing guys especially in the new year we we really appreciate that thank you yep all right, all right let's get on with the bass fishing iq test question number one you ready to type it up i am ready all right here we go where was the first bass master classic held in 1971 a lake gunnersville b Lake Mead, or C, Clarks Hill Reservoir. Where was the first Bassmaster Classic held in 1971? A, Lake Gunnersville, B, Lake Mead, or C, Clarks Hill Reservoir? And the correct answer was B, Lake Mead. Question number two. The initials FLW originally stood for A. Forrest L. Wood or B. Fishing League Worldwide. Again, the initials FLW originally stood for A. Forrest L. Wood or B. Fishing League Worldwide. And the answer is A. Forrest L. Wood. Question number three. What was the organization's name prior to FLW? A. The Red Man Tour. B. Operation Bass. Or C. The Stren Series. Again, number three. What was the organization's name prior to FLW? A. The Red Man Tour. B. Operation Bass, or C, the Stren Series? And the answer is B, Operation Bass. These questions are going to get a little harder as we go along, but question number four, who has the most classic wins? A, Rick Klum. B, Kevin Van Dam. Or C, Rick Klum and Kevin Van Dam. Again, question four. Who has the most classic wins? A, Rick Klun, B, Kevin Van Dam, or C, Rick Klun and Kevin Van Dam? And the correct answer is C. Both Rick Klun and Kevin Van Dam both have the same number of classic wins at four. Question number five. What is the MLF championship event called? A, the Forest Wood Cup, B, the Red Crest, 
or C, heavy hitters. Again, what is the MLF championship event called? A, the Forest Wood Cup, B, the Red Crest, or C, heavy hitters? And the answer is B, the Red Crest. Question number six. The first locations of the Bassmaster Classic were announced how? A, on a television news program. B, on a plane while the contestants were flying. Or C, by mail to all the contestants. Again, the question. How were the first locations of the Bassmaster Classic announced? A, on a television news program. B, on a plane while the contestants were flying, or C, by mail to all the contestants? The correct answer is B, on a plane while all the contestants were flying. Number seven, in what year did MLF start the BPT? A, 2017, B, 2018, or C, 2019? Again, question number seven, in what year did MLF start the BPT? A, 2017, B, 2018, or C, 2019? And the correct answer is B, 2018. Question number eight, how many Bassmaster Classics have there been? A, 50, B, 53, or C, 55. Question number eight was how many Bassmaster Classics have there been? A, 50, B, 53, or C, 55? And the correct answer is B, 53. There have been 53 Bassmaster Classics. Question number nine. What was Ray Scott's profession before forming bass? A, a car salesman, B, an insurance salesman, or C, an outdoor writer. What was Ray Scott's profession before forming bass? A, a car salesman, B, an insurance salesman, or C, an outdoor writer. Again, the correct answer is B, an insurance salesman. Question number 10. How many anglers have won the Classic and the FLW Championship? A, zero. B, only one. Or C, five. How many anglers have won the Classic and the FLW Championship? A, zero. B, one. Or C, five. And the correct answer is C. There have been five anglers who have won both the Classic and the FLW Championship. Question number 11. Megan, I told you these are going to get tougher. Here we go. Into the tough ones. In what year did Ray Scott start the trend of catch and release tournaments? A. 1971. B, 1972, or C, 1980? What was the year that Ray Scott started the trend of catch and release tournaments? A, 1971, B, 1972, or C, 1980? And the correct answer is B, 1972. That was one year after he started BASS. Number 12. What businessman purchased FLW in 1996? Was it A, Forrest Wood, or B, Erwin Jacob? What businessman purchased FLW in 1996? A, Forrest Wood, or B, Erwin Jacobs? 
And the correct answer is B, Erwin Jacobs. Question 13. Who was the angler that had the winning fish flop off the deck of his boat in the 89 Classic? A, Jim Bitter. B, Guido Hipton. Or C, Bill Dance. Again, question 13. Who was the angler that had the winning fish flop off the deck of his boat in the 89 Classic? A, Jim Bitter, B, Guido Hipton, or C, Bill Dance? The correct answer for question number 13 was A, Jim Bitter. Question number 14. Who was the first lifetime member of Bass? A, Bob Cobb. B, Don Butler. Or C, Forrest Wood. Who was the first lifetime member of Bass? A, Bob Cobb. B, Don Butler. Or C, Forrest Wood. And the correct answer is B, Don Butler. And finally, question number 15. Who is officially recognized for catching the world record bass? A, Leanne Powell. B, Mac Weekly. Or C, George Perry. Again, the final question. Who is officially recognized for catching the world record bass? A, Leanne Powell. B, Mac Weekly or C, George Perry? And the correct answer is C, George Perry. Well, let's tally them up and see how you guys did. Guys, we hope that if you're the real bass fishing aficionados that we think you are, you got perfect score or maybe one wrong. And if so, we consider you to be a bass fishing expert. Mm -hmm. You probably watch all the YouTube channels, read all the magazines, you know everything there is to know about it. Nice job, way to go. <laughs> if you got two wrong answers, hey, you're still very, very knowledgeable about bass fishing. Absolutely. And you should be proud of yourself with only two wrong answers. If you got three wrong answers, hey, you can hold your own but you might want to brush up on some of your bass fishing history. And by the way, guys, this was only part one of a three-part IQ test. Oh. We're gonna, we may do this again, and next time we'll talk about fishing techniques okay. or things like that. This was basically only about tournament angling. So don't count yourself out if you were scoring a little low, because this was primarily just about tournament fishing. If you did get four wrong answers, well, you might want to brush up a little bit on your on your knowledge base. And if you got five answers or more wrong, you might want to think about getting a bobber out and start fishing for bluegill a little bit, maybe. Or maybe you fall into the same category as I did, so <laughs> don't worry about it. Guys, we hope you had fun taking this bass fishing IQ test. And like I said, if you did, send us a comment. We've got two more ideas for different topics on the whole bass fishing knowledge IQ test. Stick around tomorrow for Underwater Wednesday coming up on Mark Fisher Outdoors. Stay channeled.